of France, one of several European countries dealing with a shocking rise in anti-Semitic attacks. Just this morning, over 80 graves were found marked with swastikas at a Jewish cemetery in the country's east. And that is not an isolated incident, to say the least. As we reported last week, France has seen a 74% rise in anti-Semitic acts just between 2017 and 2018. Getting underway now across several French cities are demonstrations against that and in support of the country's Jewish community. First, here's French President Emmanuel Macron while paying a visit to that Jewish cemetery. Tonight, in many cities around France, there will be gatherings called by all political parties to show the emotion of the entire country. But beyond the emotion, this needs to last everywhere and in people's minds first. And the fact that some of our fellow citizens think that that is nothing, that history can be replaced by doing this, is a failure. It's our failure. And so now we need and we will take action, strong and clear ones. This process will take time. We will take action, he says. That, I imagine, is one of the things on the mind of the yeah. thousands of people that are out across France tonight. Let's take a look at some of these live images from Paris. You see uh, masses gathering in what were planned protests across the country against this rising anti-Semitism, against these incidents. Again, just today, those 80 graves, over 80 graves, desecrated. And I just want to bring up one statistic to show what a big problem this actually is in France in particular. It's obviously not only France. Right. Uh, a, a poll coming out of the EU fundamental rights agency just this December said 95% of French Jews see anti-Semitism as a big problem where they live. 95%, that's pretty clear. Right. Part of this uh, story is the concern that uh, far-right anti-Semitic elements maybe have uh, sort of infiltrated the so-called Yellow Vest protest movement right. that's been going over the last few months. Joining us in the studio is our international affairs correspondent, uh, Bianca Zanini. And actually, we saw Probably some spillover from that when I mentioned those anti-Semitic elements in the LFS movement in an incident involving a well-known French personality. That's right. Over the weekend, uh, this French well-known philosopher, Alan Finkelkraut, was uh, attacked, verbally attacked, and they called him uh, dirty Zionist. He was on the street and it was part of this uh, yellow vest movement. And it asked, it sparked some uh, questions about uh, these more radicalized fringes of the yellow vest movement and also of French society in general. And right after this attack happened, I-24 News had an interview with him. And one of the things he said, and this was quite interesting, and it says a lot about what's happening in French society right now, he said that he wasn't going to um, call the police, he wasn't going to take this any further uh, to, to trials or anything, but he said that it was interesting that they didn't call him a dirty Jew. They called him right. a dirty Zionist. And this is what really exemplifies the change in the anti-Semitism we're seeing right now. Earlier today, we heard President Macron go out and say that he's not going to change any laws when it comes to criticizing uh, Israel or being anti-Zionist, but that he still maintains the difference between anti-Semitism and anti-Zionism. But what Finkelkraut was saying is that this attack that felt very clearly, was very clearly anti-Semitism, was wrapped in an anti-Zionism attack. That really is a very important point because while there is certainly a, a, a clear difference between criticizing Israel's policy, which is completely legitimate, and anti-Semitism, as you say, it can often, anti-Semitism is often sort of wrapped in that paper no. as an excuse. Right, and he said that it's almost as if the, the racial slurs are changing so that uh, a lot of Jews are now seen as racists themselves, and that's part of the racist slurs that is uh, uh, right. given to them. So he says that this is something that's changing and we're going to have to look into that. And uh, I was in Brussels er, 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 late last year and talked to a lot of different Jewish uh, organizations about how they see anti-Semitism in their country and how the communities report it to them. And it is something that is slowly changing and it's a little bit difficult to come to grasp with right mean, what now. What we're really seeing in Europe and also especially in France, a convergence of the anti-Semitism in both uh, radical Muslim uh, uh, movements, far, uh, extreme far left, and also the new sort of populist far-right nationalists. So it's, in yeah. a sense, coming from both sides Absolutely. of the political Absolutely. That's exactly right. That, that we're not just talking about France. This really is a European problem. But 
in France. It's that the biggest Jewish community yeah. outside of Israel in the United States. Uh, so those images tonight uh, will leave you with uh, going out into this break. Bianca Zanini, thanks very much. Uh, those people there out in Paris and across France looking for some answers as Macron promised that they will actually take some action.